Hi, I'm Miss Sam and the weather has warmed up and it's time to change out closets to summer clothing and things like that and so I was going to bring out all of my summer hats and when I got ready to take out the box I thought maybe y'all would like to unpack it with me. Um, every year I get excited all over again about my hats. You know, you kind of forget about them over the winter. Some of them are really nostalgic and have good sentimental value for me. And so maybe you would like to unpack my hats with me. And first off, I'm going to show you the box that I keep them in. It is a cute little beaver brand hat box. And it has good memories for me because... One of the little ladies that I went to church with from the time I was two years old, when she was in her 80s, I think I was 13, she uh, invited me over to her house and she asked if I would like to have her vintage hats. And it was in this box. And of course, I was just over the moon about that. Back then, all I did was play dress up in them. But I knew what an honor it was to get her hats and I have kept them ever since and I still treasure them and I still wear them. And like I say, I keep all my, my hats in this box. Now there's no particular order to these hats of, of preference or ones that I like best. It's that the least crushable ones are on the bottom and that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna start with the first hat on the top. And it is a little summer straw with daisies on it, isn't that sweet? And you may be able to see it has an asymmetrical brim. So I kind of like to do it down to the side like that and let that brim hang down. I think that's really cute, very summery feeling. So that's the first one. And then, <laughs> okay, some of them are kind of tatty and old, but I love them anyway. This poor thing, its little flowers are just in a mess but I love it, it makes me happy. And I'll shove that down on there. Uh, this hat, actually, one birthday, I don't remember which one, my boys were teenagers, they said for my birthday they were gonna do something special, and so they told me to put on my favorite tea party dress and one of my favorite hats, and so it was this one. And they surprised me with a lunch that they had made and invited my mama and my best friend. So, and what I think is also cute about this hat, it has this, super neat little um, pink netting tucked down in the sides so and none of this is gonna mess my hair up any more than it was I've been out in the yard in the wind all day so I look like a cat ate on my head so we're just gonna flap things on it and my great granny was one of my dearest dearest friends she was like a soulmate to me she passed when I was 12 years old and I got her hats too most of them are winter hats but this one is a summer hat, and it is one of my very favorite hats. I love it so much. It's a navy blue with these beautiful red velvet roses on it, and the netting has little rhinestones. And like I say, that that's very nostalgic and sentimental to me. Okay, and I also have some crazy hats. But you're going to see when I put this on what I mean by crazy hats. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, this is what I call having a flower on your head. Can you believe this? I know, it is just a little bit much. And if you were sitting there asking yourself, I wonder if she has ever actually worn that out of the house? The answer is no, I haven't yet. I think I have worn every single hat in this box to church or somewhere at some time, but I have not yet been able to get up the gumption and the nerve for this one. But it is a very, very pretty and fun hat. Just different. Okay, and this one, um, some folks might say that this is more of a cold weather hat because of the material that it's made out of. It's this really beautiful, shimmery, uh, velour velvet. Oh, it feels so nice. These make me think of seashells and I wear it for summertime because it goes with all sorts of pretty pink things and it feels summery like seashells and each one of these little seashells has rhinestones, has the original netting which I usually just tuck up inside and uh, so that's what this looks like. So shimmery. I like that one. And then here is another one. It's more of a, a sort of apricot-y, dusty color, has really pretty 
I love flowers and I love the, the velvety different accents. And this is my fancy answer to a windy day. That is a safety pinned hair comb in there. So you can actually hair comb it to the top of your head and keep it from flying away. But since I'm outside, I don't need that. So you can just put it on like that. Oh, my hair, hair goes to Betsy. But how cute is that? Or you, uh, hair comb. You can, you know, put them further back. Some people can do those beautiful poodles and different things. And as you can tell, I am not a good hair person. Now this is one, uh, this is another one I haven't ever worn out before. I just got this last summer and it is super cute. Again, a little velvet bow. And I have been meaning to stretch the netting so that it doesn't shrink up like it does, but I just haven't done that yet. So just a little hair topper like that. Isn't that cute? I think that's sweet. So I have that one. And we've kind of got a pink thing going on here. There's no reason, rhyme or reason to it. Look at all of the lovely little silk flowers on this and the little pearls back here and rhinestones in between. Just a fun little hat. Like that on there. Oh, goodness me. What a mess. And my arms are scratched to ever loving bits from gardening outside, but you know what? I am so thankful that I can go out and garden. And there is this little hat. Isn't that cute? And of course these little pink hats, they just go with just about anything. Now here is a black hat and this was also my great granny's. I don't wear a lot of black, but anything that was hers I absolutely love just because it was hers. This has a little bit of an asymmetrical to it too. Goodness me, I should have done something to my hair. And these roses are really neat because they're actually paper roses, which I think is a fun little detail. And further down in here, I like flowers, if you hadn't noticed. So just piles of flowers on this one. And what's neat is it has these little, uh, has this little V, which just sort of comes down over your ears like that and then you just have a if your hair is set nice you have this beautiful little halo of blue flowers and that's a break from the pink in there oh but we're back to pink this poor little hat it has had a rough life it has these cute little velvet leaves on it and velvet ribbon but the poor little flower in front oh that little man he needs to be loofed and refreshed back up but there he is and again I've got my hair comb in there in case it's a windy day and um, I don't know if you've noticed but I like to put my hats off to the side I just like the way that they look on me everybody's different everybody can put on the exact same hat and situate it in a different way and it look pretty um, on them in a different manner this is another one of my granny's hats, and it originally has this little medallion with rhinestones on underneath it, but I, I've worn it a million times with this little sprig of vintage flowers on it. Look at that, it still has a price tag on it, 49 cents. Um, when I was just out of high school, 25 years ago, whew, heavens. Uh, I went to an auction and found an entire box from a general store that was had gone out of business in the 50s. And I got the whole box for five or six dollars and now I can't believe how much one sprig of flowers is. But I put this on here and again, like I say, I like to put my hats on asymmetrically. I don't have a symmetrical face. Even when I smile, it's crooked, but that's okay. And so I just kind of put them off to the side. Other folks might want to bring it back and put it on like that but just a little pillbox hat with a fun flower on it. And then this, this was just a, uh, a hat band, hair band, whatever, that was in the box of vintage flowers. I stuck this vintage flower on it, and you can just have a little bit. I'm not good at keeping flowers in my hair, so that's a, a nice way to have one stuck on there. And this, my husband calls this my Princess Leia buns. <laughs> He doesn't mean it in a nice way either. And it is funny. I mean, 
one's big and one's little, so it makes your head look even more lopsided, or maybe it evens mine out. I'm not sure. Do I wear this out of the house? Yes, I do, simply because I like it. And this hat is not old. Well, I guess it could be vintage. It's from high school, and I just finished saying that was 20-some-odd years ago, so actually this might be vintage. This is just a little hat that um, I used to wear with some of my 1930s looking outfits that is driving me insane. Just for a little bit of fun, we had to have a hat day at school to get to wear a hat. I think nowadays kids get to wear hats whenever they want to, which is lovely, but we had to have a hat day because they were considered disruptive. So that is my box of hats. However, I have three hats that I keep in my bedroom all the time because they are some of my absolute favorites and I just like looking at them all the time. This one is another one that I have never worn outside the house because it is just a little too over the top for me. I got this one and the next one you're going to see at an auction of this little lady and I just thought it was adorable but I cannot put this on and wear it. I don't think I could wear it anywhere because I would be dying laughing the whole time. People would be laughing at me. I'd be laughing at myself. But no, I haven't got the little power up to wear this one out yet. But it sure does look cute sitting in my bedroom. So there's that one. And then this one I have worn out. And I don't know if I can get it on over my braids right now. This is an absolutely beautiful straw hat. An antique one that she had there. Oh, it makes me so happy. And like I say, I've got my braids on, but it actually does go down quite nicely over the back of my head when I don't have my hair up on it. And it looks beautiful with 1930s garden dresses, all chiffonny and floaty. But I keep that up in my bedroom because I love it. And here is the last hat I wanted to show you. Oh, I look like a fishwife. Okay, and like I say, I don't wear black hardly ever, but this hat is an exception. Look at the netting on this hat, and then the beautiful pink flowers. Light pink and black has to be the most gorgeous color combination. Isn't that beautiful? And it has these little, um, little supports in here to make it latch onto your head, and this hat... This hat just makes me happy. So here is this hat with the veiling. And if you remember, I said I wanted to stretch the veiling on the other one. This one had the veiling all shunked up also, just all wonkily. So what I did is I just gently tied little weights around the outside edge, set it up on a hat stand, and let it, let it relax, pull down like this. And now the netting is perfect. So there they are. Those are my summer hats, and I'm going to go put them up on the shelf in my bedroom so that I can remember to wear them and enjoy them even up on my shelf when I'm not wearing them. And I hope that you enjoyed this, kind of like playing dress up. So I hope you're having a lovely day, Sugar, and um, if you are interested, I have a blog called MissSamWearsDresses.blogspot.com, and I show vintage clothing and recipes and parties and all kinds of things. I'm also on Instagram and on YouTube and honey I would love to get to chat with you. So you have a wonderful day until I see you again. Bye!